Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I am joined tonight by the usual crew, Christian and Anna. What up? Good evening. And I'm Lucas. So, Probably. Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. Good answer. So yeah, so tonight we didn't actually post what we were doing. Um, so yeah, it's a surprise. Uh, we're doing because we Ultra wanted Magnus. to disappoint you by surprising right. you. Right, right. There you go. So we are doing Ultra Magnus tonight, the Earthrise version. So, yes, not the version that I have up for comparison purposes, but the version oh, that Christian, Christian is holding. You got your, you've got the like blur effect thing, so it's like your figure's like half blurry, half not. But in Lucas's view, you can see a comparison between both recent versions of Ultra yep. Magnus. Yes, I, I do have both because I'm a sucker, so. Which are both retail leaders. Both? Both? I have three. Well, I, I have three as well. I just didn't. Oh, okay. I, okay. I don't know. I didn't. Like, the, uh, the the Siege one was, like, right there, you know, like, in my box. And I, I don't know where the other the uh the netflix one is it's like in another box so i Yay. walked in two minutes ago or else i would have found them oh. the netflix with dirty legs well the uh siege one has dirty legs too so they have different dirty legs they have oh. different dirty legs i think right, the netflix true. has dirtier legs because yeah. he's got the dirty hips yeah those ones so. get clean hips right no not entirely they're a little no, dirty. That's what I'm saying is, is they're a little bit dirty. I haven't looked at this thing in months because it's boring. Why is it See, boring? See, there's my review it's done. It's not that boring. <laughs> I mean, the, like, this Ultra Magnus in general is, uh, you know, that city commander, which everyone loved, what, 10 years ago or something? I don't know how many years ago it was. That 13 came out. years ago. Two like, to 300. Yeah, like, I mean, that was an amazing figure at the time. I mean, I still think it kind of holds up, but Very it's good. relatively similar to, you know, to this figure. It's a it, similar he is relatively to similar to this figure. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know if we talked about that the first time Ultra Magnus came around. I legit don't remember that far back, so sorry. But yeah, it is very much like City Commander. And I think it's I have the a first... version of that. It's the first white prime prime with armor we've had in a very long time. Did you never have a city commander or the like the hot rod the Rodimus one, Anna? No, that's the that's the fans project one, right? Right. Yes. Because I wait, it is a fans project, not the Both, both of them are fans project things. We yeah. Okay. I have a fans project that's some sort of Magnus. I guess that's City Commander, maybe? Yes, that's City Commander. So, yes, the fans project... Well, I guess sold him to be used in a plastic Ziploc bag. I wasn't sure no, what he was. No, I, I never had... I, I don't think I sold you City Commander. It would have been someone else. Then what did you sell me? Okay, there's three of them. There's Dia Commander, there's Shadow Commander, there's City Commander. You sold me Blue Fans Project no, of a white Magnus wearing blue stuff. It was from you, I'm telling oh. you. Oh, you know what? That's, oh, you know what? That's Actually, that's Parallax 04. Um, yeah, that that's, that's that not one. even. Yeah, that's not the it's, same thing at all. Not even. Is that the same thing? Okay. No. Because that okay, thing's yeah, kind of annoying, I, so I wasn't sure. I forgot about that thing, but yeah, they like kind of redid the City Commander. I guess I don't know. They like put out a new set, um, but then it didn't have the trailer and all that type of thing. So I don't know. The City Commander was like the OG. It's pretty similar to, like, the transformation, at least, is similar to this. I mean, the looks are not the same, but... It, yeah, it's all the to same go on, armor pieces break yeah. off. It's meant to go on the classics Ultra Magnus. And it does, and it's fantastic. And everyone should still get one. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It seems so like you, it was good. I'm surprised that you don't have it, Anna, because since you have everything Fans Project, but <laughs> does everything <laughs> yeah. that you get Fans Project come from me, like... Pretty much. Pretty much. The only things I bought independently from Fans Project were uh, uh, the Dinobots. Yeah, I didn't get those from you except for the women. I got the Dinobots from various places. Including the last one I just ordered. But anyway. Magnus. Madness. So, what's yes. different about this Magnus 
There's a lot of things, actually. So uh, in vehicle mode, he does not homage the robots in disguise car robots Magnus anymore. He's more traditional G1 Ultra Magnus, which is nice. It's sad to see that homage go, but for where this goes in my display, which is in the 86 movie piece, that's fine. Uh, He's got new chest plates, which make him look more G1. He's got a new head, which gives him his goggles. Which is more G1 which is great. I didn't really like the face on the old one, the Siege one. I mean, it's like fine, but it's also relatively generic. And then I think he's got different missiles, he's different stacks. Everything, yeah, the, everything's been the missiles remolded are different. just a little bit. Yeah, the, the missiles are different, the stacks are different, like the legs are different. I mean, like pretty much everything is, is completely different. On the, I mean, I'm sure that there's probably people point out that, like, I think the arms might be the same. And you can still use the, the DNA leg extenders with this one. No, no issues there. So those parts are at least similar enough to do that. But it's it's the same kind of remolding or reengineering we've seen from Siege to Earthrise. Now this is just a year later from Siege to Kingdom. It's not a surprise. It's kind of like if you really took the camera out of focus, like, really bad to make them kind of like, you know, just vague blobs of themselves. They'd look almost exactly the same. But then once you focus a little bit, you're like, oh, everything is different, but the same outline. Okay. Yeah. We're getting used to this, though, right? Because we're getting this a lot these days. I hope it's almost over. We'll have Sideswipe and Mirage by the end of the year. I want Hound at some point. And then I want them to never do this again. I was talking to Serge on a, a drive today, our fellow castmate Sergio, and we made a list of top 10 Transformers betrayals of the past, I don't know, 10 years or so. And this was number one. The, the Siege to Earthrise bait and switch was number one. Uh, I don't know if I quite feel it's a betrayal, but let, let's save that for the after talk, after we actually I, go through the figure. He, he and I felt very betrayed by that, because like, yeah, these Siege things are so much fun, and they're good, and the, the molding is good, they're fun to play with, there's enough detail, and then they come out the next year, all the same characters in so, the models we wanted all along. Because so, I've replaced a lot of mine, too, so I can't really avoid... Here's, here's the question is, is okay... Would you rather have like crappy repaints, kind of like Combiner Wars, where they were like, oh, this is, you know, kind of like whatever character. So, like, and, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, you know, repaint all the teams as Autobots or as, as whatever. And so then we got updated versions then. Like, would you rather have that or ones that, like, with Siege where it's like, oh, we're finally getting good versions that have good articulation, all that type of thing, and they're, like, they're pretty good, but then we're going to, like, make them better a year later. So the real answer, I think, is that we would always like to have a better figure than the one we currently have internally, but we don't want to rebuy the same character six months or a year later, right? We want to wait for that figure to get genuinely outdated, genuinely old and out of touch and want to replace it, start to rot or whatever toys do. And this didn't do that. Now, as far as like the the repaints being a better or worse alternative, I think we're still getting them for the most part. But I think they're kind of a better alternative from a I won't buy them perspective. Works so, better for me. D- d- uh, Catherine says that she doesn't think it was a betrayal because we all knew from day one that Hasbro was going to remake Earth modes. When Siege first came out, I like I, I can't not remember exactly when we knew Earthrise versus Siege, because like I know at least the first it at least the first wave or so wasn't like that. Now later waves, and I think even when we knew Earthrise, it wasn't like we we're like okay, every single character is going to be you know, remade in, in the Earth mode. Like, we didn't know that at the time. Yeah, we definitely didn't know that. Yeah, I remember but I don't thinking. Know. We didn't, maybe Christian, I, maybe we're just, you know, a little slow on the uptake and everyone else knew and we didn't. Because I, I remember either. some people were very confident online. They were just like, you know, okay, we got these Cybertronian modes, but we're going to get the Earth modes in a minute here. And I was like, why would you think that? Why do you feel there's any guarantees in life? Why are you trying to predict the future? And they were right. 
Yeah. If I could go back in time and, and tell myself, I would just never buy Siege. Certain I mean, figures from few, Siege there, I would definitely certain buy. Figures, though, that oh, I would have grabbed the, the weaponizers to go with the Titans. I would have grabbed like crosshairs and ape face. All the helicopters. Wow. But I mean, yeah, at the same story. time, Everyone like so Hasbro Make more. is is releasing a new Spider-Man and Iron Man like every other day. Like McFarlane is releasing a new Batman every other day as well. So it's not like this is, you know, completely unique and, you know, toy making. I also think that they wasted an opportunity to actually do Cybertronian modes instead did kind of like, oh, this squint and look at it. It's oh, that's kind of a Lamborghini. Right. As opposed, you know, the the three I would have really liked to have seen would have been Jazz, Wheeljack, and Bumblebee in their actual right. cartoon Cybertronian modes, and they didn't do it. They just didn't. Right. That's right. a huge miss for me. They just like made said, this basically isn't, everything else. This old Magnus isn't any like it isn't any Cybertronian Magnus that's ever been made. It's just a attempt at a Cybertronian Magnus. It's something kind of new, I guess. Because yep. it doesn't really look like any of the IDW versions. Nope. And it's right. close to G1, but kind of a, you know, what if you saw his Cybertronian mode, even though he is never displayed as being a character who's hanging on Earth, but whatever. Um, so. The, the vehicle mode is Robots in Disguise. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, I do think that said. it's cool that they homaged Robots in Disguise with the vehicle mode. So, I mean, there's that. No, I think it's great we got old, all the old series homages that we got stuck into Siege, I think are going to stay in people's collections. You know, the Galaxy Prime and the this Magnus, if people want that, they'll keep it. And then also the Hot Shot, of course, people keep that because I think I it's just, a genuinely good figure. I just keep that Magnus. You're right. I should probably keep it and just display it in vehicle mode. Yeah, yeah like it's my R.I.D. Fine. Magnus. Yay. Do you still have an R.I.D. Magnus? Uh, an original one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then you don't technically need them, but... But it's an homage, so... Right, it's yeah. an homage. So, just to go through this figure, like, he has all the same articulation, right? Yep. Because we're going to pretend you guys can convince me to get him. You actually can't, so, but... Look, he, this one is actually good. It, this one does feel like the one I wanted all along, but didn't right. know it because this is, yeah, we, how could we have known this was coming? We just talked about that. But this really does look like he stepped out of the movie, except the same issue with the last one is that the, the legs are too short. He looks very kind of stubby in that way. For some reason, I think it's less bad on this version than the Siege version, and I don't quite know why. Maybe it's paint. Maybe it's that the chest is more streamlined and not quite as bulky. Maybe, maybe I'm just a crazy dirty. person. Who knows? Yeah, maybe it's not dirty. That's definitely helping. So, yeah, it, it looks nice. I definitely would recommend it. It's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow to be like, okay, I've just paid 50 bucks for this you know, 18 months ago. Do I need to pay 50 bucks for it again? I ended up paying 45 I got a little bit of a sale from Amazon. Yay. And, and then, and then you have to put the Yay, DNA so. kit on, right? So... I haven't done it Check yet. It. I may yeah. just extract it from my older model and put it on this one. Yeah, I don't know. Is the DNA kit still for sale? I can't. I haven't really paid. Yes, they they're, just restocked. They're rerunning okay. it. Yeah, okay. they just I started may, restocking in places. I may go ahead and get it because I just that uh, the Scorponok DNA kit just came in stock. I would recommend the leg kit. I, I've had it installed on my Siege for a while, and it uh, really does make a difference. I installed on my Galaxy Prime as well. It really does make the difference. Yeah. So the weapons that, that come with it, the hammer is kind of dinky, the axe is kind of dinky. I don't know why they're so small, but very good. So the DNA kit extends the lower legs, right? It yes. extends the legs past the knee it does. and makes him have more of a profile that would be, you know, a more familiar humanoid profile, more like the Magnus you expect. And from what I know, it's really good quality, right? Like you're getting mm -hmm. a new pair of legs that are just as good as the original legs, just a little bit longer. You showed some accessories there that I'm not sure this version came with. Does he come with those guns no. that you have on the legs? Okay, cool. No, he does I not. briefly that... had a panic attack that I threw mine away. That, Where did get that those was guns one from? of the. Who are they even for? No, no, they come with the Siege version. They don't come with the King. Oh, version. okay. Right. I was like, right. where did I get these? 
Sorry, yeah. that was not clear. I mean, I don't think that they're needed at all. At all, they're not. but then at the same time, I'm kind of like a little bit bummed that they don't come with it. You know, like if that makes sense. It's when you yeah. do that direct comparison like that, right? It's like right. this much plastic was worth fifty dollars six months ago, and now this much plastic is right. worth it. I totally get that. So. Oh, and then I was going to say, I guess I should like tear them apart and show the inner robot as well. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that. And in the meantime, I'll say just one bit of advice on this mold in general. And I'm just going to say, you know, overall, it's kind of the same mold is that you probably don't want to go for the 3D printed kits that extend the upper legs instead of the lower legs. They take a lot of wear by putting those on and and direct comparisons extending the upper legs doesn't look as right as extending the lower legs does. So, you know, I had one of those kits and I basically, you know, I had it sitting on the floor once and Garrus, you know, my 20 pound dog stepped on it and they broke. So they're not super strong. Like they're probably not going to live through a fall or anything like that or heavy play. Um, so I would recommend getting good ones. However, the DNA kit doesn't come with fillers for all the gaps. So if you're really into that, you might have to find a different set. Because my old yeah. 3D printed kit had smokestack fillers and lower leg fillers and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, just, I don't really feel like the um, the gaps really bother me that much. I did on not figure. get the kit for the gap figures on this minus. I got it only yeah. for the legs. Let's say I got a whole pile of parts over here now. Yeah, so while you're doing happens. robot, I'm gonna try and go to uh, vehicle mode. Yeah, so just be be selective on the kits. You know, that DNA kit is expensive at between twenty and thirty dollars, depending on which version you get. Very strange. The new one is twenty, but Okay, so Big here... difference here is that he's got a flat nose truck. There's a trucky truck. Yeah, I, I do like the look of the truck. Um, other than the fact with the, the like the hands in the back, like that's kind of annoying. Um, I do think like when you have him in his ultra Magnus mode, um, so the way that you're supposed to do, um, you're supposed to put those like the arm covers, um, uh, like on the top of the truck, but I actually like to put them around the back of the hand. So that way the hands aren't as visible in, um, uh, in the ultra Magnus mode. And, and I think it's fine. Um, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, you know, kind of a fat you know ultra wide ultra, ultra magnus prime like whatever um doesn't look that bad like I, I feel like it doesn't look as bad in hand as what i thought it did in the pictures um i agree with that would you say that you still prefer the other one or do you like this one better i like, like this one, one. Mm, i don't know if i like better but it is more appropriate for what this character needs to do. Yeah. H how's that? Evasive. I like it. Sorry. Best I got tonight. And I think we talked about this the first time we talked about this figure, but very few of us are actually going to display white prime Magnus in that way. So, you know, our complaints we have about that figure truth be told i honestly instead of getting an upgrade kit i should probably just take the armor off this guy and display it as white magnus prime or white prime magnus because i should like that mode better i feel like it's a better toy than this kind of bulky armor guy is oh no i like the ultra magnus armored up mode a lot more so i don't know like I mean, that's the thing is is that i actually kind of like the like the bulky, you know, overall robot, I actually kind of like it more than the masterpiece. And and the reason is, is like I like I wish that they would redo the masterpiece, and they probably will here in a few years, um, to give him more articulation. Because I like the fact that he has like you know the waist swivel and some of those things, and like um, you know he has a little bit of, of ankle, you know, articulation and whatnot too. That it's just it. I don't know. I feel like it's more articulated, although I think that the masterpiece is a more fun toy. And like Combiner Wars is kind of the same way where 
like both of them kind of have that all-in-one transformation like that i i enjoyed quite a bit um i don't know i mean this is cool too like i think this is a good homage to g1 uh, you know, because the fact it has all the parts and, and whatnot kind of homages that too. So, yeah, it homages what the toy did. Right, that's what I mean. The toy. So, but, I'm almost there. Yeah, I promise. It takes a minute. Bad, but I mean, he's got he's you know he's got the uh, way swivel and and all that. Um, he has ankles. So, yeah, he has the vaunted Anna wrist uh, swivel here. So Hey, I love my wrist swivel. And the individual... I just walk around all day swiveling my wrists. The individual mode has a pretty decent range of articulation with the head, too. So, um, side to side's not fantastic, but up and down's pretty decent. So, so... I don't know. I mean, I think that overall this is what I want. Uh, from my Ultra Magnus. So, I mean, this is probably the... I mean, I'm not going to say it's the last one I'm ever going to get. Because I'll probably get another one two years from now. But, um, you know, this is probably, probably. my favorite. I mean, this is probably my, my favorite. I don't know. I like the Combiner, War Combiner Wars one, too, though. Yeah, I think the oh, Combiner yeah. Wars one is probably better. But it's also different. Like, it's, it's doing a completely different version of the character than this one is. It is again, literally it does, a It has a lack of articulation, though, too. Like, that's the thing that I just annoys me. I did it. Yeah, that I'm doesn't make it more the worse. accessories now. Yeah, I actually... I did it. Boom. I'm really glad I took this guy out. Yay! Yeah, the the, the like I, I like that chest and all that on the on the old figure. So yeah, so this is the official way that's supposed to transform, right? Where the the arms are at the top. Yep. So the only thing I will say too is like, so the wheels on this are painted like a gunmetal, but like when you're just looking at it, it kind of looks like they're not painted. Just because the yeah. the color is pretty Kinda close. Ah, uh, okay. But it, they are in fact painted. Yeah, and the caps on this one were more silver, more deliberately right. loud silver. Right. It would be nice if he could actually, you know, car carry, but he cannot. Uh, he can't, Christian. You could put somebody on top. There you you can put a car on top. And you can you can put a car inside. It is it is in fact possible. You just have to disassemble it some. Pretty much. Yeah, that's what I figured. So, but there, I mean, there are actually um, car carriers that look similar to that truck model. Um, right, so of course. It is it is like even though it's not necessarily the original design, it is. Like, there are car carriers that look kind of like that. Yep. So, it was not something that I would probably display it in that mode. You know? I kind of wish he was like some of the figures where you could um, take their shell off and make the alt mode out of just the shell. I kind of <laughs> wish he was like that so I could have the truck parked beside this white robot. It would be fun. Yeah. All I'd have Doesn't to do is buy two like idea, you guys yeah. have. Or three. Or three. We kind of have three. Well, this one's different. I'm sure somehow there will be another spoiler pack or something like that that <sighs> this will come in and, and I'll somehow manage to get it just like the Siege Megatron that I'm going to get like yeah, I guess this is a good time to talk about that times. that Lucas and I Look, both it, have that Siege spoiler pack coming. Oh, why did we do make that? This, if they make this into Delta, I will buy the crap oh, out of it. Oh, 100%. Yeah, no. Like, why haven't they done that is what I don't know. I don't know. And it really bothers me. I think it's because they were waiting for that mold. Well, actually, you're probably right. That's probably. I bet you're right. So I, I think they'll do it in that mold. And if they want to do Shining Magnus, I'd buy that too. 
They is, think is that the is, yellow one? It is the yellow one. I would buy the yellow one, sure. I'd buy they all find of them. It's scaling up the selects, like at first they weren't really doing many like high cost selects figures, and now they've kind of become like a common thing to get the higher a, cost select stuff. Get a Galactic Man coming out the gate. Oh, that was pretty early, wasn't it? And that was a weird know. one. I feel like the Galactic Man and some of those, like, didn't that actually go on clearance? I don't feel like it sold it well. Yeah. I think it did, yeah. So, I didn't get it. That That's the only thing I could kind of see where they may not necessarily do, um, you know, as many of those. But I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? I hope they do. So, guys, I'm, let's say theoretically... I'm a casual collector. I just like to have, you know, good Transformers toys. I don't have to collect them all. I'm not, I'm just trying to get things that are fun, that don't match my childhood, blah, 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 blah. Do I need to get both of these or should I no. just pick my favorite out of the pick two? One. No, pick, I'd one. pick one. So I think I agree with the two of them because I obviously have picked one kind of by accident just because it was the first one I got. And it's just like that one. For me, as someone who briefly collected all the Ultra Magnuses, I decided that was a fool's errand and I wasn't enjoying it. But because I did, I still have the MP. And to me, the MP does that look better. So if I want something that captures that movie look, I have the MP downstairs and he's fine. But this one captures a different look. So if I'm going to keep all these Magnuses, I'm happier like this. Right. I mean, I'd say I one out of the two MP, of these makes sense. Like I said before, is a more fun toy. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of hard because, you know, for us, like, Christian and I want a classics collection or right. generations or whatever. And so this fits more into what we're doing um, than the Masterpiece. Plus, it's cheaper. Like, I mean, you're talking this one's 50 bucks compared to the Masterpiece is, what, 150 I think? Or I can't remember how much it was. 160 it's varied in price since it came out i believe 180 i can't remember what it was it was it was something like that i mean it was a decent price given the size of the figure but uh but yeah, yeah. this is definitely more cost effective like if i was only get if i was an average collector if i was buying this for my like you know 14 year old son or something like that i'd probably get this versus getting the masterpiece but I yeah, and this is still commonly available, where the masterpiece right. is probably at the phase in its existence where it's harder to find new. So. Yeah. That's what we got. Yeah, cue me up for some repaints. So, Christian, one more question. Something you What's mentioned a... earlier was switching the upgrade leg kit from your from your siege to that mm -hmm. one. Will that work? Are you certain? that the legs are similar enough that they're still going to fit into the new armor. I have not done it yet. I have seen okay. it done. Ah, okay. Cause I was really curious about that because if you look on most of the sites, the three different sets of leg kits are different prices. And this one is actually the most. <laughs> I think it might be a paint thing. Okay. And if it's a paint thing, then you'd probably want to go with the one that actually matches the paint. I'll have on to yours. look. It's been a while since I've paid close attention to what the extender legs look like. Yeah. Yeah, when you do yours, let me know how it goes. I will let you know. When if. Because I'm still on the fence on if I'm going to get the leg upgrade. Because honestly, in this mode, I don't think it would make him look better. I think it might make him look weird. It makes, yeah, it makes that mode look weird. Yeah, so if you want to, like, just leave it in that mode, you probably don't want to bother with it, so. I remember I built a little, like, battle base out of the armor when I first got it, and that was kind of fun. I might go back to doing that. that. And a lot of people did things like that, and I think that could be a fun way to do it. I like the ones where people made it, like, into an Iron Man display, where it was just, like, the armor mm. was on display for him to, like, look at and be like, oh, I wore this armor once. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. That's pretty cool. Sure. Anyway, at base, it sounds like we all like the figure in general. Yes. It sounds like yeah. we generally think that you don't need them both unless you're yeah. the special kind of collectors that we tend to be around here. Yeah, I mean, if you want to gauge him by the other Kingdom figures, I guess he's at the lower end because he doesn't look like he walked out of any media. 
As, well, he does in vehicle mode. He does not in vehicle mode, and he suffers for that. And that you know, that's okay, because I'm only going to have him in bot mode. But, you know, Huffer's like, oh, incredible. And then you have all the Beast guys who are like, oh, incredible. And then Magnus is well, pretty good. The other thing is is that this is a leader class figure. And so that that's the thing that makes it harder, too, is is that, like, Huffer or whatever is a $20 figure. This is a $50 figure. So it's a lot harder to recommend that if you already have the other one. Right. You know, like. It's, it's also harder with the idea of the slight upgrade. Because right. if you're looking at the two prowls, it's like, I bought a $20 prowl and now I, well, get a weird gift set prowl that's really expensive now. Bad example. <laughs> right. If you if you don't need an incremental upgrade, you know, you, you don't need this figure. Right. But if you didn't get the first one or if you, you know, really like the look of this one, especially the head sculpt and the chest sculpt um, better, you know, go for it. You won't regret it. You know what you're getting into and it's it's nice. Yeah, and I honestly think it's a pretty cool toy, and I don't like I don't like the proportions, and that's something that a lot of people aren't as bothered by as I am, and I don't really like put on armor figures either, and I think this is a good put on armor figure because it's stable once you put the armor on it where a lot of them aren't. Yes. So, yeah. You know, I think trust their opinions more than mine on this one. Yeah, no, I mean, I think everything makes sense. It's pretty intuitive, at least in robot mode like you know you might have to look at the instructions a little bit for um to get into vehicle mode but you know i don't know it's still pretty good and i, I think that he's a beefy guy so it makes it feel that the leader price point is worth it you know versus you know some of the other ones they've released at the leader class uh price point but um yeah i don't know it, like if you don't have if you don't have one, I would definitely go with the Earthrise over the Siege. But Kingdom over Siege. Or yes, thank you. Kingdom over Siege. Everything Version is two. together now. Right. So um, I do want to mention Book Club this week is going to be more than ECI forty two through forty four. Uh, so that is going to be Sunday night at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. So if you want to talk those books, um, you know, uh, swing by the Discord and uh, on Sunday night. I think we're bringing in at least one new person soon. So we are still expanding. So don't be shy if you want to join and you're thinking like, oh, it's been these same people. No, no, no. We're always getting bigger. So there you go. So, um, well, and, and thank you to uh, everyone in the chat. Thanks to Randall and Catherine. I uh, appreciate the feedback. Yeah. So, yeah. Anything else before we go? Do you want to preview what we're doing next week? What are we doing next week? I think you guys are doing the, uh, right, the doing very the wildly different uh, Megatron spoiler box set. Oh, yes. I forgot. I already forgot My that vote. I'm getting that. My vote is we do that one really fast, and then we let me, t we let me talk about Eris for a while. That's my vote. Right, there you go. Because what do we'll we need, five another... minutes to talk about that thing? I'll have to do another Ask My Wallet. I got something cool uh, today, actually, so... Poor Aries, really get it out of my wallet. Sorry. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. We will see you next week. See y'all.